okay students today now I'm going to explain to you about air pump and so air pump is also application of atmospheric pressure just like syringe uh, so air pump basically has also has three parts or mainly body consists of only two parts one is a cylinder and another is a piston so if you want to connect then there is a tube that tube will link or it will lead the air into some uh, what uh, it can, it, may, it can lead to some bulbs where the air is need to be filled or it tubes of vehicles. So basically it consists of two parts that is piston and a cylindrical body. The uh, It is not like the syringe, it is not uh, tight enough. And the, the, mm, the It is not sealed just like the syringe. So piston can move in and out and there is a the air can get in and out in this area. So uh, piston also has three parts they are handle rod and washer so if you have seen uh, air pump uh, and has uh, have seen the washer part you you may have remember or recall it to be of what a rubber so it is slightly curved inwards the washer is uh, made such that it is slightly curved inward now why this curved inward is the washer should let the air move from this area to this area it should be able to, the the air from this area should be able to go to this area through this washer so basically washer will be working like a valve to us therefore this washer is usually made up of rubber which is able to bend easily however uh, it should be it's not be such that the air from this area goes to this area so it's very very important Remember, washer is rubber, it is slightly curved inwards. The air from this outside can go this to this part. Let's name it, let's name it A part and let's name it B part. So air from A can go to B, but B from the air from B can should not be able to go to B. A return back to A. If it is done so, then washer is damaged and we need to convert uh, change it. So that, that's about air pump. Now let's go to working method. The air pump works with the basic pulling movement and pushing movement. So first let's discuss about piston pulling movement. So whenever we pull a piston uh, out of the tube or cylindrical body, what happens is the leather bends inwards. Now why this bends is, look at this, we have already named it to be part A and part B. Now whenever we pull, see the area, the volume of this area is fixed here but whenever we pull this piston up, what happens? The volume increases and the air inside this part will not be able to fill this whole volume and so a low pressure region is created. So now since this is open, what happens? Here is high pressure region here is also high pressure region and here is low pressure region so in order to maintain this balance high pressure region and low pressure region what happens the air from the high pressure region will bend this rubber washer or this washer and the air will move in and it will come into this area so as to fill in this space and convert to maintain this balance it will also be converted into high pressure region once this pressure is maintained what happens this valve will automatically close because it will not it will not be pressing anymore the high pressure region won't be pressing over this washer anymore so th that that happens when the what piston is pulled up now let's go to where, when the piston is pulled down whenever piston is moved down i already told you the washer is made such that the air from b part cannot go to a part so when you push the piston what happens the part a volume will increase or we are basically not interested in this what happens here now what happens the air from the air has gone here and air has been filled here now this area is closed now whenever you press it what happens the air in this part B will be pressed now since it cannot move back where it has to move it has to move inside this tube open this valve which was closed earlier and the tube, air will move inside the uh, what tube of a vehicles or a, a bulb so the air will move until this piston moves comes down now once the what the air of this region completely goes inside the tube the piston is pulled back 
Once you pull back, what happens? Since there is high pressure here, you will press this bulb and this bulb will again close like this. And what happens? Again, same thing is repeated. The piston is moved up, low pressure region here, high pressure region here, the high pressure region will press and air will move inside this region. Again, this piston is pulled down. Now this air from here cannot move up, so it will move through this tube and into the tube and it, it continues. So the pushing and pulling movement of the piston will continue until the work is finished and in this way the air pump works. So pulling and piston, pushing a piston is the basic you what working method on which the uh, air pump works.